Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Natasha Blazaki. Today I'm here with you to show you different ways to decorate the grey board elements that you're using in your compositions. As you can see, I've already got my background ready. So, one way is to use embossing powders on the grey board uh, elements and create very interesting textures and uh, also take advantage of the embossing powders uh, color. Here I've uh, given a first coat of metallic paint and while the paint was still wet I sprinkled the embossing powder which is stuck on the wet paint and immediately I started uh, heat setting the embossing powder. Another way is to use some kind of texture paste. Here I'm using the new Lava Paste by Andy Skinner. There are many ways to use the Lava Paste and it gets quite dimensional when you hit set it. So here I discovered that uh, applying it with a wet sponge, actually dabbing it on the surface, uh, stops it from being so dimensional uh, when uh, heat set and uh, it will give me just the texture I want to build my rust on it. After the paste is uh, completely dry, I apply a coat of uh, very dark paint and this is checker finish uh, carbon. On top of that I'm applying some fluid acrylic interference turquoise color and that will give me more interest when uh, later I'm going to uh, add some quinacridone gold and create my rust effect. Before applying the paint, I use some wax balm, the one I use for my hands, and placed it in several spots. This will act as a resist and the acrylic paint will not stick on the surface. After I have covered the whole piece, I will go back with a baby wipe and take off the paint from these spots and this will give me the effect of chipped off paint. I have followed the exact same process on the gear, but before applying the acrylic paint, I put a coat of deco art crackling medium, it's called weathered wood, and uh, this way uh, when I apply the paint I get an extra effect of crackled and chipped off paint. After you have decorated all the grey board elements and you place them on your surface and start uh, building up the composition, it's only natural that some fine-tuning may, may be needed. But that's only natural because uh, when uh, you create a, a, a separate background and uh, decorate uh, the elements separately, uh, when bringing them together, you have to make them match. I really hope you liked this video. Uh, please leave me your comments underneath. I'll be glad to read them and uh, answer. Bye-bye.